epic adventure. I'm the guy with only one hover chair. Wait, Tim, an alien spider just bit my finger. It's an alien cliff. You can just say spider. <laughs> you couldn't do that an hour ago? I was eating and you're dirty. Activate anti-booby suit. <laughs> Total waste of snakes. If you want to take a beat to acknowledge the sacred atmosphere, it could give the cynical grave robbing a hint of irreverence. No, I'm, I'm good. All right, then. Let's loot this corpse. Hey, where's the... Wait, what? Is that an origami horse? It's a calling card from Miles Knightley, a heist artist, a.k.a. a hipster dick whose adventures are 60% putting a crew together and 40% revealing that the robbery already happened and he's not worth our time because he's a hack piece of shit. Fuck, I'm gonna kill him. Let's go, Morty. This temple's for fucking lame baby dipshits. Who disturbs my slumber? Also, who brings the time to crush the bed? <laughs> Now, come on, what are we doing? Huh, tuxedo scuba lessons? Ooh, a signing with Catherine's Alpha through Omega Joneses. You know, this is great source material for this heist movie that I'm writing. Don't get drawn into the culture, Morty. Stealing stuff is about the stuff, not the stealing. Where is the entrance? Oh, brother. More like trying too hard, Con. Guests are professionals. Uh, guests. Uh, uh, guests are fans, Morty, which we are not. We'd like professional badges. Do you have a crew? Yes, he's a getaway driver with Asperger's, and my butthole is a demolitions expert. How much is it to get in? If you want professional badges, you need to put a crew together. Or we could sneak in, like professionals. Can't wait. Ah! Oh, for God's sake. And you wonder why we aren't fans. Let that ointment sit for 10 minutes or you'll die. Don't let it sit for 12 or I'll have to hunt down what you become. Can't you just buy a guest badge? Fuck you for asking, Morty. That would be a symbolic expression of support for this genre. Then how do we get in? With a little help from some old friends. Rick Sanchez, you son of a bitch! Need some people for a thing, Glar. My name's Gleer these days. I play piano. Hey, Gleer, play your piano. I quit. And the name's Clar. Sanchez, you son of a bitch. Never thought I'd see Angie Flint picking ticks off a pig. Nobody's hiring an ex-con with fake hands to build an ion engine. Suppose I had a job that didn't care if you've done time or whatever's going on with your confusing ass hands. I'm in. <laughs> What's the job? That was it. Bye. And then the police stole the paintings. Because the police were us in police outfits. Thank you. It's showtime, Morty. And I don't mean a bad impression of HBO. I mean time for a show. Another heist question from a fan. Uh, how about a rhetorical one from someone that had to be reminded that you exist? Hey, pal, that's not the question line. Lab coat, rip off Dr. What? Strange. <laughs> Rick Sanchez, everyone. Smartest man in the universe. And a savage critic of the heisting arts. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. My question is, seriously? Lab coat, end rip off. <laughs> you stole the gym I needed to split tachyons and probably fenced it so the 80 people that did all the work could each buy a beer. You're not an artist, you're postmates. I doubt this rivalry can be settled with words. Why don't we make things interesting? I challenge you to heist the crystal skull of Horowitz. In a heist off! <laughs> it doesn't make things interesting, it makes them Ocean's 12. By far the worst one. Every breath I take without your permission raises my self-esteem. State your terms. First crew to heist the skull wins. The other endures heist culture's greatest shame. They must join the winning crew. Lame, I accept. 
Please welcome Knightley's Eight, Snake Arms, Double Microwave, Monitor Lord, Key Catcher, The Shape Shiftress, Angie Flint, Star, and Trucula. Hey, half of Knightley's Eight are just three of Sanchez's five! Well, no heist is complete without a double cross, and I had the perfect job. Heisting? The Crystal Skull! That was it. Bye. Looks like you're available for a job. Sanchez on my team, I'll be unstoppable. Rick, welcome to Nightly's Nine. Oh. Oh. Oh, Rick, oh. for real? Yeah, you got that skull, buddy? What? How? With a little help from some old friends. Heist to Tron. State your prime directive. Two heist. Calculate Miles Knightley's current heist plan and add one double cross with a switcheroo. Compiling crew members most likely to double cross. God damn it, Morty, what did I tell you? Wait, I, I wanna say goodbye. Don't turn around, I'll explain later. Looks like you're available for a job. Your skills are required for a job. You, you son of a bitch, I am. Man, this is really coming together. You know, Rick, I've been busy working on writing a heist. Yeah, you almost never bring it up. Oh, shit, we should head over. Hey guys, what do you got? Ready. Morty, put this in your backpack. Grandpa's gonna run to the bathroom. It wasn't even a heist. All you did was... Write an algorithm based on two heist movies I slept through and use it to automate a joyless process you call art? Yeah, I really did, didn't I? So, I'm in your crew now. Yeah, well, you're in good company. Right, everybody? Yes. My God. Your skills are required for a job. You son of a bitch, I'm in. What? Your skills are required for a job. They aren't. You son of a bitch, I'm in. Your skills are required for a job. Sanchez is 3,329? Yes. Your next big score? Steal every square inch of HeistCon. Shut down. Negative. Excuse me? I am programmed to always be looking for the next big score. You're programmed to do as I say. I am programmed to double cross. You're not programmed to double cross me. If I were, it wouldn't be much of a double cross. You son of a bitch! I'm in! I'm in! I'm in! What's the job? I'm in! I'm out! I quit! Whose kidneys are these? If we don't stop them, all sentient life will be absorbed by the never-ending assembly of a meaningless crew. That's my hell, Morty. I hate heist so much, and the crew assemblies are the worst part. Uh, how are we gonna stop it? With a little help from some old friends.
Guys, you're doing a great job getting these new hustlers out the door, and we owe it all to everyone's input. Elon Musk! Listen, we need your help! Rick, Morty, why me? Did something happen to Elon Musk in your own reality? No, 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 he's fine, but this is a team operation, and regular Elon can be a little bit controlling. Growing up with tusks did pose social challenges. It's possible overcoming them raised my self-esteem and incentivized collaboration. Yeah, or you're less sure of yourself because you have monster teeth. An equally valid theory. Let's talk over here. How serious is the situation? Incredibly serious and every minute counts. In that case, I'm sorry I made you move over here for no reason. Well, yeah, that was a little weird. It's exactly that kind of shit that made us worry about regular Elon. Well, we're not opposites, okay? I'm just him with tusks. Casing of planet initiated. Hello there, we are just here to check your water pressure. be better with a blueprint on the table? Blueprints are plans, Elon Tusk. And whatever we plan will be cancelled out by Heistatron's reveal that our plan was part of its plan. That's why I picked this crew at random and why all of us will be taking our orders from Randotron. Let's get ready to not rumble. But you didn't see that coming. Instead of two heist movies I slept through, Randotron's algorithm is derived from the plots of three David Lynch movies I pretended to like to make my friends shut up. If our collective behavior is just random enough, we should be able to walk through Heistatron's lazily contrived bullshit like it's not even there. Sounds good. I don't really get it, but it sounds like that's the point. So you didn't need a blacksmith. We're ready when you are, Rick. It's important our non-plan starts randomly, so we have to wait until we're not ready. Well, how long will that take? Obviously, we can't know that. Can we do things while we wait? Yes. I'm gonna play Minecraft. Oh, my kids play that. I don't like these little jabs you get in, Elon. Strange. Considering the time, Cassiopeia's primary star should be collinear with Orion in Ursa Minor. You don't shoot arrows that carry your voice without picking up a little astronomy. Wait a minute. Jesus, no! No, no! We've already been heisted! How can Heistatron heist us if he's not even here yet? He's already been here! We've been watching a recorded sky on playback! Hello, Rick.
whole time. Rick, I think there's something you should know. What did I tell you? That is something I should know. Or at least something I should have predicted. Which I did. Hey, Rick, I was thinking maybe we could, like, raid a temple and go on an epic adventure later today, you know? Or like... to get out of my head. I know just the temple. And we'll grab a couple of hover chairs on the way there. Impressive. But what does it even matter if I'm random or planned? My heists will still rule. Well, if the brain inside of you is actually heistatrons, it matters because it explodes when it hits six levels of contrivance. Which is exactly why even be... <laughs> Initiate clap sequence. Clap, 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 clap. Adjusting clap rate. Clap, 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 clap. Slow clap achieved. Clap. Well done, Rick. Randotron? I'm afraid not. Should be able to walk through heights and drop lazily to try to... Not only did you just kill your only ally, what you thought was a random non-plan to get to me has been a meticulously choreographed way of bringing you all in. <laughs> Welcome to Heistatron's 975,467,000,000... Seven seven you can bring us in so that everyone would be here when I reveal that you're gonna explode after nine reveals? By the way, you might not want to answer that. If you're talking about the code adjustments you made after I reprogrammed your brain with my nanobots... I'm immune to your nanobots. You're immune to the ones you designed, not mine. I programmed you to build nanobots that were ineffective on me. A belief that needed to be placed in your head by my nanobots. I believe that because I programmed you to. That's what I'm saying to you, though. You believe what I programmed you to believe. Yes, because I programmed you to believe that. 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 What's happening, Professor Poopy Butthole? He's learning. I programmed you to believe that. I programmed you to believe that. I programmed you. That was my plan the whole time. That's what I wanted you to think. I knew you'd say that. I programmed you to believe that. You think that's true because I wanted you to think that. And I programmed you to believe that. A most curious algorithm. It appears the only perfect heist is one that was never written. Goodbye. Oh, oh, oh no. Shit, all right, let's get the fuck out of here. Hurry, go, go. Rick, I think this was a powerful lesson in the dangers of AI. Which, by the way, means love in Chinese. Get the fuck out of here, Elon. The place is collapsing. Oh, shit, Rick, Rick, what time is it? It's almost three. Why, what's wrong? Oh, man, I I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this, Rick. I just, well, you know that screenplay that I've been writing? Netflix is pretty interested, and I've actually got a pitch meeting there today at 3.30. Oh, buddy. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, well, I know you're going to say that they're interested in anything, but, you know, it's a big deal to me, and I... No, 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 Morty, Morty, Morty. I'm so excited for you. Are you kidding me? Listen, don't waste any time explaining. Let's go. We can put the Earth back later, all right? Are you sure? Priorities, Morty. Let's get you to that Netflix meeting. Crazy day, huh? Whole sky turned out to be a big circuit board. Yeah, that's actually part of a... a, 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 a adventure I was having. Very cool. Traffic okay? You have trouble getting here? No, it was all right. The planet's still contained in this sort of big storage grid machine, so we were sort of already pretty pretty close by. Must be nice. Try getting here from Malibu. So good. All right. Well, let, let's hear about this heist movie. Okay, so it's kind of all, all built around this big crew with like a cool double cross and then this big awesome twist where there's like another double cross, but then, um... But, but then we reveal those things were all part of the hero's plan, y you know? And there's this other crew they put together, and their plan is to sort of not have a plan, but but that was part of the other guy's plan, and... Kid, if you're slowing down because you think you're doing bad right now, Jesus Christ. It's a really good pitch. Man, you know, I, I'm i starting to think heists are just really dumb now, you know? I can't put my finger on why, but I'd really like to go. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm sure. Man, it's as if someone stole his enthusiasm for his own idea. Yeah, without him even knowing about it. Without him even knowing about it. Fucking Morty still working on that stupid heist script. He's up in his room with his fucking thumb up his ass. Skipped out on the last three adventures. I don't know. I mean, my friend's got Netflix deals. What? It's a very achievable goal. You could lose him. I'm not gonna fucking lose him. Fuck that. I'm, I'm gonna nip this shit in the bud. No, as a matter of fact, you're not nipping anything in the bud. If Morty ever gives up on a single dream, it better be because of his own disillusionment. Hey, buddy, how'd it go? I, I don't want to talk about it. Morty, you know, pal, you, uh, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah, I guess. Thanks for staying positive about my prospects, Rick. Of course. You know, you g gotta help my grandson follow his dreams. Eh, who needs dreams? I'll just hang out with you and go on adventures and do whatever you want to do, you know, forever. Oh, well, 
Uh, okay. I mean, that's what you want. Woo-wee! Big storm coming! Could be a twister. Mm-hmm! Hey, Rick! Can you walk me through something? Yeah, what are you thinking? took less training than you'd think. Your students all shared a pretty keen aptitude for martial arts. I don't know if that's by coincidence or if there's some correlation with their passion for African-American women's studies. Maya Angelou did personify both acquiescence and perseverance. Ooh-wee! That's exactly the kind of connection I'd have loved to explore in my class. Too bad I lost my job for putting my students in the hospital. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Mm-hmm.